Dear student, myself Digan Sakhiwal, I am your science sir. Today we will start new chapter, chapter number one, matter in surroundings. Dear student, from the title we can understand what is matter. What we can see around us that is a matter like you can just now see the board, pen, mic, t-shirt or me. We all are included in the matter. Even universe is also made up of matter. Mainly universe is made up of dark matter. Okay, that we do not know what is dark matter. We know only 4 to 8 percent matter which are visible because of the light okay everything in universe is made up of material which scientists call matter the air we breathe the food we eat stone cloud plants animals even small drop of water sand is a matter so so many example of matter you can give it is not necessary that you will read from particular book and then you write the answer you can write number of example for the matter okay Matter occupy mass and volume. So what we can say that matter, matter can occupy mass and volume. Okay, like this pen occupy mass and volume. My body occupy mass and volume. This board occupy mass and volume. Water occupy mass and volume. Gases compound occupy mass and volume. So they all are included in the matter. Early Indian philosophers classify matter in the form of five basic elements: the panchatattva, air, earth water fire and sky so dear student when in hinduism anyone is died then we can say that it is distributed in the panchatattva okay so any body whether solid liquid gas any body are there that body is made up of five basic fundamental part that is air earth water fire and sky that is according to indian philosopher okay and whatever india has missile that missile name is also given according to this panchatattva sky means akash missile fire means agni missile earth means prithvi missile okay so this is different but the name is given according to the panchatattva okay according to them everything living or non living was made up of these five basic element so everything are the human body so suppose you are going for the doctor in that bhms Ayurvedic whenever you study the Ayurved at that time in that main thing is what the all the medicines are given according to this five fundamental part like air earth water fire and sky this body is also made up of this fundamental part okay Panchatattva okay so study related with Panchatattva that was given by the Indian philosopher ancient greek philosopher had arrived at similar classification of matter based on their physical property and chemical nature so ancient greek philosopher they also come across this type of philosophy and they divide the matter into two category according to the physical nature or physical property physical property they classify the element into solid liquid gas and plasma solid we already know their atoms are together okay so they are rigid in shape liquid in that atoms and uh, molecules are separated so they can flow they are fluid so they are flow so that is liquid in nature and gases compound in that what happen gases compound in that atoms or molecules are so separated that they can produce pressure on the wall okay gases compound third thing we are going to learn that is a plasma plasma is possible at a high temperature at high temperature atoms are separated and subatomic part are separated that is called the plasma state okay so that is a physical chemical nature of the matter in that we can include element element means what the substance which is made up of same kind of atom that is called element the another category is compound the substance which is made up of two or more type of atom that is called compound the small part of the compound is called molecule and third category is the mixture mixture means what the substance which is made up of two or more type of compound that is called mixture mixture in that we can in, uh, we can take the example of air air in that so many gases are there okay or we can take the example of tea coffee in that so many compounds are added so it is also mixture okay physical nature of matter matter made up of a particles okay so generally made matter is made up of a particle we take one example here salt salt we according to scientific language it is so much quantity okay you can say it is a so much quantity but whenever we try to dissolve it will dissolve easily so what happened we will understand here when we take the salt in the uh, water and we try we use glass rod to dissolve it 
after some, some time it convert into the small particle and it dissolve easily it is not visible now question is arise why it is a why it is a soluble in the water because water in mole water molecule in that some gaps are there okay you find some gaps are there water is always represented by the dotted lines there is a gap between the water molecule so when we add nacl so nacl will take the position in the gap of them and because of that is an nacl is dissolved or soluble easily in the water now nacl nacl is convert into the particle form it is in the big form after that it convert into the particle form okay now question is arise that if we add sand suppose instead of salt we add the sand sand is not soluble why sand is not soluble whenever we add the sand the and we use the glass rod but sand particles are bigger than the gap between the two water molecule and because of that reason the sand particle will remain at the bottom okay and it is not soluble in the water now suppose we add oil dear student you will learn later on that oil compounds oil kerosene petrol they are made up of covalent compound whereas water and some other compound they are make up of made up of ionic compound okay so suppose you add oil in the water oil never soluble or oil is not miscible in the water because oil is made up of covalent compound so they are non polar and water is the polar compound means it has some charge h plus and oh minus okay so whenever you add oil in the water it is not soluble okay because oil is made up of covalent compound it is a non polar whereas water is what polar compound it has charge h plus and oh minus so it will not miscible okay understand here and suppose you try to add oil in the kerosene petrol then it will be miscible easily because both are made up of covalent compound hello student we are going to learn how small are this particle of matter so when we take about a small amount of matter in that millions of particle are there before learning this thing we will learn about crystal amorphous solution solute solvent dilute solution and concentrate solution so we will start with the crystal regular arrangement of atom molecules or ions in the substance is called the crystals crystal has particular shape and size example is sugar diamond or sometime you know that some glasses are there when they break down on whenever you are going on highway accident occur then some glasses are there they break down into cube form so, okay they have particular shape and size so they are example of crystal opposite of it that is called amorphous irregular arrangement of ions molecules or atoms in the substance is called the amorphous compound and it has irregular shape and size okay like chalk whenever you break down the chalk chalk is break down into the different shape and size okay so it is example of amorphous compound solution solution is made up of solute and solvent so solution in that two components are there one is solute and other is solvent okay what is solute solute and solvent solution in which proportion of compound is less is called the solute and proportion of compound is more is called the solvent so solution is made up of solute and solvent and solute is present in the less amount somewhat compared to the solvent okay so the compound which is present in the less amount that is called solute and the compound which is present in the more amount that is called solvent suppose we take sugar and we dissolve in the water that sugar amount is less so at that time we can say that solute is sugar and solvent is water okay concentrate solution the solution in which solute amount is more compared to the solvent then this type of solution is called the concentrate solution suppose we add sugar in water it is dissolved whenever we add more and more sugar in the water it is dissolved but at some time the sugar is not dissolved more sugar is not dissolved so we can say that it is a concentrate solution dilute solution the solution in which the concentration of solute concentration of solute is less compared to solvent then we can say that it is a dilute solution okay suppose uh, in the water we add two or three crystals of sugar then we can say that it is a dilute solution of the sugar okay now we are going to learn that how small are this particle of matter for that we use potassium permanganate potassium permanganate formula is kmno4 potassium permanganate is made up of potassium okay k mn manganese and oxygen o means oxygen okay so we take kmno4 crystals are dissolved two or three crystals are dissolved in the 100 ml of water so this is the solution number 1 you can see that this solution is somewhat dark pink 
solution number one and in that many particles are there so many particle of kmno4 are there in the crystals of kmno4 now from this solution one take out 10 ml of this solution and put it into the 90 ml of clear water okay so this is become a solution number two now whenever we compare solution number one and solution number two solution number one is more darker than the solution number two now from solution number two from take out 10 ml of this solution and put it into the 90 ml of clear water that is solution number three now from solution two we take out 10 ml of the solution and we put it into the 90 ml of water solution 90 ml of water so we get solution number three now whenever we compare solution two and three solution two is darker than the solution three from this activity we come to know that kmno4 particles are present more in the solution number one less present in solution two and very less is present in the solution three from this activity we concluded that if we take the two three crystals of kmno4 it contain millions of the kmno4 particles okay so in third also that particles are present so third solution has also a very faint pink color the, there must be a million of tiny particles in just one crystal of kmno4 same activity can be done using 2 ml of datol instead of kmno4 same activity we can do by using 2 ml of datol okay so first we take the 2 ml of daughter uh, datol uh, and we add 98 ml of water okay and same activity we can carry out and from that we can judge that a datol contain also a million of particles here in this activity by datol we can also judge the smell solution one has the very in, uh, intense smell okay and compared to solution 2 and solution 3 the smell can be detected even on the repeated dilution so dilutions are increases smell is decreases this is all about the today's portion thank you so much